Hi guys, it's Allie. Um, it's Allie, and um, I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> um, so how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing splendid on this. Well, in where I am right now, Jersey. <laughs> um, the area is super, super rainy and super, super like gross weathery and I hope you guys' weather in your other states or other places that you live in is a lot better than the weather that happened today <laughs> um, here in Jersey besides that weather and seeing if you guys are okay I am here like I said to make a YouTube video I do have a um, song of the day for you guys I was smart enough to kind of remember what song I was gonna kind of pick and the song I wanted to pick at first was not kind of what I wanted for today I wanted to kind of like have that song for another time when I was like explaining something or I don't know a different day because <laughs> there's many days many days for many metal songs so um Pretty much, I wanted to choose the song Demigod by Behemoth, and I wanted to choose that song just because I I think it's been, I want to say, a good, almost a year, about, almost about a year since I've listened to Behemoth in that way, because they are the end-all, be-all of, like, some of, some of my end all be all favorite bands I'd have to say so Demigod is just probably I don't know it's it's one of the songs that just kind of hits me hard and once the the beat drops once everything is just kind of like all put together at the end of the song you're just like that was probably the best song I've heard come from metal in a long time <laughs> so it's it's like, I love listening to Behemoth, I love listening to, um, their music, um, I know that they're, they're definitely, um, the type of music that they are is definitely, it, it's, it's metal, alright, um, <laughs> it's, it's metal, alright, but I, I definitely want to say it's part of a, a type of, like I said, um, stop, moment, um, when it comes to music, all right, I love a lots of different types of music, a lots of different types of rock music. Let's put it that way. Lots of different types of rock rock music, and um, a lots of different type of music. Period. And rock is kind of like the highest amount or the highest category of music that I listen to. So with all that said, I don't like to genre things. Genre ing ing yeah that that's a new word you better use it genre ing things is a stupid thing to me I find back in the day people used to call Bring Me the Horizon and the Word Alive and Escape the Fate as screamo music and nowadays people are like I mean the bands obviously changed Escape the Fate and and the Word Alive and and Bring the Horizon they changed a little bit but they're still doing the same old same old and People tend to, like, categorize them as screamo, and some people tr tend to categorize screamo music as being metalcore, and then metalcore is, like, people are saying anything with core at the end of it has to do with, like, s you know, kind of like the low raunchy type of growl screams. Um, I mean, like, there's so many different types. There's, um, I I'm pretty sure most people would, like, one of my commenters on one of my videos commented saying, "Oh, hey, you know, you're 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 pretty you're pretty stupid because Megadeth isn't classic classic rock." And I was like, "I, I know it's not classic rock, but it's to me I I categorize it as classic, you know, rock of that time, and then it's rock music, so I categorize it as classic rock." And people were like, "That's not how you genre it." I'm no, don't, Ali, shut up. So I'm not even going to genre music anymore. I'm just going to put out a song and I want you guys to put out a song that sounds, not sounds, but a band that would be pretty much related to that band. 
Um, but Behemoth Demigod, that's the song of the day. Um, do do do. Besides that, I am going to pretty much just go for right now. I'm gonna make another video because uh, I just got done making this video right after I got off of work, as you can tell. I'm wearing work clothes. <laughs> like my work clothes are like, uh, like I I'm about to like probably embarrass you guys and probably scare you guys to death. But I'm wearing khakis. <laughs> khakis. They're like the worst. <laughs> They're like the worst. You don't understand. For a punkish goth type girl, wearing khakis is probably. Khaki correction. Wearing khakis with no d like sort of design or DUI to it, it just makes it just makes you miserable. Wearing plain clothing and being punk is just like the world is ending. You just you just can't deal with it anymore. Just because it's like anytime you have an open space of clothing on you, you you have the feeling if, it, if you're wearing a white shirt, you have the feeling to grab your closest red marker and just start writing on it, just stupid stuff, things that you care about, things that you like, lyrics, anything. And your clothes can be exactly what you want it to be. That's why I kind of want to start bothering you guys about my DUI, which is interesting because I love DUIing all my clo clothing. I love, you know, altering it to, to pretty much put my sort of style into it because I feel like no matter what, no matter what kind of trends come out of today's day, no matter what kind of styles come out, that I'll always kind of just have my own sort of style that can't just be either conformed against or changed in, in a negative way that's like, you know, like everybody else or, you know, kind of like a trend. My, my type of style is, is nowhere near any sort of trend. I mean, it is a trend according to, you know, the style that I'm into, but as far as that, I put everything that's my personality into my clothes, which is what I love. And you, you'll you probably, like, see me with a pair of pants that say, you know, things like, I don't know, random things. I need to find a pair of DUI pants that I <laughs> did just to show you guys. And they're right there. Hold on one second. <laughs> You know you like my khakis. Shut up. <laughs> okay. So these right here, I created DUI, and they are, I want to say I created them in high school, and they mean a lot to me. So I'm going to do a quick showing of them. And uh, don't don't make fun of some of the stuff. I, I did it in high school. Like I said, don't make fun of the stuff that's on it. <laughs> I know. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> it says yellow. I know. But YOLO in terms of Mitch Lucker, as in you only live once. I wish I could have put Mitch Lucker somewhere on here, but I kind of made these pants in between him making the song of you only live once and in between him dying. So that was inconvenient for me, which is afterwards I put this patch on and I cut this out of you know, pajama pants, and they were like plaid pajama pants, and I put um, puffy paint on it to design a style. This says Attila, one of my favorite bands as well. Here I Breathe, another one of my favorite bands. And all of this is just kind of like part of my personality. And that's just one leg. So, like, the rest of the leg is over here. And pretty much it's just my style DUI. And I would just love for everybody to kind of DUI their own style. I wish that everybody could DUI their own style, and I mean, you can. So I would definitely recommend it at, at any point in time because nobody wants to be stuck wearing plain black t-shirts and <laughs> plain khakis. I mean, some kids, I don't know, me, I, I'd wear a plain black t-shirt, but I'd, I'd, I would get so sick of it. I'd be like, yeah, it's black, but I gotta put something on it. <laughs> so. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I'm going to go change out of my work clothes so I don't hurt somebody, <laughs> because I hate wearing my work clothes. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a really good day, and 